Hey guys, PJ here, and today I'm bringing you a new uh, Lego set. This is Batman Escape from Ra's al Ghul. This is set number 76056. It's for ages 6 to 12, and it's 257 pieces, and it sells for $29.99. As of right now, it's currently a Walmart exclusive. And you can also get it on Lego uh, Lego Home. You can't get it in the Lego stores. I tried. I went the day it came out and at the Lego store. And they told me I couldn't get it there. I could only get it at Shop at Home. Or at, uh, well, actually, the guy told me Target. And it turned out to be Walmart. So this is the set. All put together. Um, I think it has its pluses and its minuses. It's got the new Batman, which is... Excellent. Uh, if you're a Batman collector of the minifigs, it's an excellent Batman. I'll show you that one in a minute. Uh, the young Robin, pretty cool. Uh, Raz al Ghul and Talia al Ghul, also nice features. N nice, nice minifigures. Uh, to my knowledge, I believe they are both new minifigures. They are exclusive to this set. And as of Filming this right now, uh, the Le Lego Shop at Home is now sold out until, I think it says expected ship date of July uh, 16th, I believe. So another week, week and a half, I think, is an expected ship date. So we're going to take a look at each each thing individually, and then I'll tell you, you know, what I think of them. So let's uh, let's do that now. Okay, guys. So here is the Bat Dune Buggy. Um, I've heard different things about it. My own opinion is I quite like it. I think it's a, uh, it's a pretty easy build. It's a pretty cool build, actually. And um, I think it's from a kid's standpoint, I think it, it's actually really nice. It, it rolls smooth, you know, no problems with that. Uh, there are, they are stickers. I mean... Uh, right here, this this front piece that's that's a sticker, which in a way is kind of a shame. The, um, gosh, I think every Batman thing I have put together in recent memory has been a printed piece, not a sticker piece of the Bat symbol. So I'm not quite sure why this one wasn't, but you know, I guess that's the way that it goes. Uh. Here, let me see, hold on. That's a sticker. And that's a sticker. Uh, this is Batman. There's no, you know, these are the little roll bars. It's got just got the steering wheel here. There's nothing special. Batman actually does sit a little ways away from it, which is, you know, it's, it is what it is. Then we've got two, oh, uh, that comes. That, that is one little annoying thing with this, is especially for kids who are going to be playing with it, that little clip there keeps popping off on me. Um, two stud shooters, you know, work nice, no problems there. In the back, there's our, there's our engine. Um, and in general, oh, wait, hold on, one thing I forgot. Right here and right here, oh, hold on. Let me get it. Right here and right here are the uh, accessory pieces for Batman. You put his sword in his batarang, and you actually get an extra batarang and an extra sword. So that's that's pretty nice. So in general, I would say it's a, definitely a thumbs up on the the Bat Doom buggy. Very cool. Okay, so they refer to this as his headquarters. So take it for what you will. Um, it's a cool build. This these stairs here, the way they went together, I thought that was pretty slick. Um, you know, it's there's not much. I'm sorry, I don't have any kind of like fancy turn turntable thing. There, there's really nothing to the back here. Um, it does have the doors that Batman is supposed to drive through with his Doom buggy. Then. Uh, I thought I thought the sticker here that's a sticker I thought that was pretty cool then 
the way the the two little play features with this is one is you've got the swinging um, axe, which is kind of cool. Not people, you know, Batman's not paying attention. He'll get an axe right in the sternum. And then besides that, you've got Robin who was captured, and you hit this. Oh, I just knocked it down. See what happens when you're not trying to be too forceful with it. So for Roz and Talia, uh, pretty nice, pretty nice little mini figures we got here. We do have. Um, they both come with kind of with swords. Roz comes with a sword, and Talia comes with like the sickle. Uh, she's got a neat little hair piece. Um, let's take a look at Talia here. As you can see here, Talia it's almost looks like uh, Scarlet Witch's hair, actually. Um, we've got, I think she only has, she, no, she has two faces. We have her, her little face here. Come on, focus in. Why won't you focus? So that's Talia's face, her normal face, and then on the back side we have kind of her angry face. She has some nice uh, back printing there. It's kind of cool. Put her hair back on. Um, no double molded legs or anything like that. I do believe this is the first time we've ever gotten Roz. Um, Nice pieces. Nice mini figure here. I do like his face. His face is cool. Uh, it's that new... I think that's Superman's hair, actually. Uh, the one thing I don't like, though, is, and I'm not quite sure why, Batman is the only one who has the new cape. The new cape material. Uh, Robin and Roz both have the old plasticky type of cape. Not really quite sure why. I mean... I guess I get it for this neck piece, but for the the rest of the cape, which is a separate piece, I'm not really sure why they made it, you know, the old style. So, I'll take the sword out of his hand. I don't believe... Does he have a second face? I think he does have a second face. I do believe. Let me put his cape down here. Yep. There's... Can you... I don't know if you can make out the... The green eyes. There's his green eyes. So, you know, I like Roz. Roz is cool. I got no complaints with Roz. Uh, it's got pretty nice chest detail. I don't know if how well that's coming through. Um, but all in all, uh, you know, solid green all the way around. It's not bad. Not, not a bad minifigure. As far as, uh, here's Robin, our boy Wonder. Again, it's kind of the old school cape. It's more the plasticky cape. And I guess since they calling him Young Robin, that's why they made him shorter. Um, I don't know. I guess it depends on how you feel about that. And I guess if you're going for character tr style, I guess, you would say it's not bad, you know, being shorter, but... I kind of prefer the actually minifigure, real minifigure legs and not the ones that you can't really do anything with. Um, and as far as his stick goes, I don't know. It's just a wooden stick with, you know, I think it's one of the, the flagpole um, pieces. So, uh, he, Robin does have a second face as well. That's the one face here, like the... Oh. And then his, I guess his angry face, you would call it. Um, but it is what it is with Robin. Uh, he's got a really nice, you know, chest, though. You know, his, his torso is really well done, I think. Really nice detailing on him. And I don't remember, does he have anything on his any back printing? Uh, yeah, he does. Yeah, there you go. That's that's his back printing here. So it's not not a bad minifigure as well. 
But here, here is the piece de resistance uh, of the set, in my opinion. This is sand, Batman. Uh, this is not a Batman that we have had before. Uh, this is pretty much why I bought the set, really, was for this Batman right here. Um, that's really well done. I, I quite like him a lot. If you can... See, it's the new new helmet. That's that's the one face. There's his other face. And this is the new cloth. This is the new cape. I, I like that cape much better. This time, like, we got the Batarang. We, we get a second Batarang. And the Katana Sword, which I quite like that a lot, too. And then the chest... His torso build. Let me take these out of his hands. You can see that his torso is really, really well done. I really like that. Um, you know, it shows his, I guess, his six pack off pretty well. Uh, got the nice. Nice extra detail up on his shoulders. Uh, it's all a solid leg, though. There is no dual molded anything on there. Um, I did read one thing that some people had said maybe they wish it wasn't a black cape, that it was more of a brown cape. You know, I guess that's the case, but I don't ever recall. Well, let's see. Did the Arctic Batman have? I can't remember enough. Arctic Batman had a white cape or if he came with a black cape as well. I can, I'll have to look. I cannot remember on that one right now. And then on the back, his back again is really well done. I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if the mesh or the chain that's there, if that's supposed to be for lighter, more maneuverability to help with breathing because he's supposed to be in the desert. Um, I'm not really sure w what that is for, but in general, this guy right here, this Batman, that is why I bought the set. Okay, guys, so here's the final set again. I would definitely say the set is a good set. It's not great, but if you're going after the minifigures, for sure, it's a definite buy, it's a must-buy. Uh, I really do like the Batman uh, Doom Buggy. I, I like that a lot. The headquarters, eh, it's, it's okay. The Lazarus Pit really is nothing at all, in my opinion. It's kind of a, I mean, it's an extra piece, but it's, it's really kind of a, a nothing build, really. It doesn't even really functionally work. So... Anyway, guys, uh, those are my opinions. I'll show you the box just at the very end. Um, if you like this, you know, please subscribe. I, I would like to do more of these. I've got a ton of Lego sets, new sets, old sets. Um, I thought I'd give this a try. Uh, it's not the greatest. Uh, it's still a work in progress. But if you like it, let me know, and uh, I'll do more. And there's the front of the box, guys. The one other thing I will add just real quick as a quick caveat is I was playing around with the set here and moving things around a couple of times. I will say that the headquarter pieces, they fall off a lot. Uh, I've had both doors come off on me on the, how they're attached. Not the actual door itself, but the, the big side pieces. Every time you go to try to pick the thing up, it just they pop right off. So for little kids, when they're putting it together and they're playing it and want to move it around, it's going to fall off quite a lot. So just a little extra thought, you know, food for thought there. Um, thanks, guys. Bye.